Hello boys and girls, welcome to the day's social studies lesson. For today, we are going to be focusing on the topic physical features. Now physical features refers to the different landform of the earth. The physical features of an area are the natural shapes of the area. These natural shapes include highlands and lowlands otherwise known as land forms all right so when we talk about physical feature we're talking about the how the earth is structured now we are going to be focusing first on highlands what are highlands highlands are the the land forms which rises above 150 meters above sea level so highlands are like mountains and you know mountains are highlands which rises above 500 meters now jamaica's highest mountain is the blue mountain and the blue mountain measures about 2256 meters now this spreads across four parishes okay now the second highland is plateau a plateau is a flat top mountain a mountain with a flat top in other words <laughs> for example in jamaica the dry harbor mountain in saint anne is an example of a plateau and if you look at the physical map of jamaica you can definitely identify some other plateaus that are found in jamaica the other highland that we will be focusing on is hill now a hill is a small elevation of the earth's surface a hill is lower than a mountain and it rises between 150 to 500 meter now the governor's hill in saint anne is an example of a hill and its elevation is about 563 meters all right now let's look at lowlands lowlands are landforms 150 meter or less so lowlands measure 150 meters or less now the first lowland that we will focus on is plains a plain is a large flat area of land they stretch from the coast of the bottom of a mountain or hill all right and you should also bear in mind that plains are found mainly on the southern side of jamaica and an example of plain is the ligani plain that is located in kingston and saint andrew now we're going to focus on the second lowland which is valley now a valley is a low long area between two highland so a valley can be, be between two mountains, it can be between two hills, it can also be between a mountain and a hill. Also bear in mind that valleys usually slope down to the sea, a lake or the ocean and many valleys have rivers in. Now you may wonder why am I seeing river as a part of land form? Is river a land? Well. Rivers are also considered as physical features of the earth. And a river is a body of water which flows through a channel beginning at its source. All right. And some examples of rivers are like Dunsero Fall that is located in St. Anne. Yes. So boys and girls, we also have other types of landforms. Now, the first landform that we will be focusing on is peninsula. A peninsula is a body of land that is surrounded by water on three sides. You can see in the picture, the land is not completely surrounded by water. And that is why it's called a peninsula. The second landform we're going to be focusing on is lake. Now, a lake is basically, uh, 
it's basically water that is completely surrounded by land the other landform is island and an island is the opposite of a lake however it's a piece of land that is completely surrounded by water so as for the lake which is completely surrounded by land the island is completely surrounded by water all right boys and girls so that is the end of this today's lesson on landform i want for you to complete these activities but before i go let us recap what we have done now we mentioned that landforms are divided in two we have highlands and lowlands highlands or landforms which rises above 150 meter above sea level while lowlands are landforms 150 meter or less all right and examples of highlands are mountains hills plateau yes good job and examples of lowlands are say with me plains and valleys all right well done everyone i hope and i trust that you have learned something today all right all the best and i will see you in our next lesson have a blessed rest of the evening and keep safe Thank you.